Today we introduce you how to install an eco-worthy 1200 watt solar panel system. The first step we need to take is to wire the two batteries in series. To make a 24 volt battery bank. The second step is to wire the controller unit to the battery bank. So some people will use the controller to wire the panels before they do this. But this is not a correct wire sequence, and it may cost a damage to this unit. And make it defeated. So the correct sequence is to wire it to the battery first. Here we go, we use the cable of the controller to do this, just like we do before. We put the brown one, the positive one to the positive port of the controller and use the screwdriver to tighten it. And then the blue one for the negativity pole. Then we use the ring cable to wire the batteries. Before we connect the controller to the battery, we need to use the ring cable to touch it first, like this, touch the terminal to avoid any sparks. We divided it into three parallel groups of each two in series. So the first one group, we just connect the positive one and the negative one together, to make a series group. So now we get three 24 volt series groups. Now we are going to connect them in parallel with a Y branch. We just need to use the Y branch to connect the negative one of this group and also the negative one of that group. Then the positive one of it to the other positive one. Now we get two groups that wire in series and also parallel. We have the third group that to be also have this done. Also, the negative one to the positive. And we will need to use the other negative one to this. But we find the cable is not long enough, you see, the cable is not long enough. So for this distance, we need some extension cable. The negative one, we use the extension cable to extend it from there to here. Now the negative poles are all got connected. The positive one, also we need the extension cable. So now we have two groups of final cable for the solar panel area. And we need to connect them to the controller. We need the solar controller cable. We just need to use it to match their ports. The negative one we use the black cable for it. So it will go to the negative post of the controller and the red cable for the positive terminal. This end of the wire will go to the positive terminal of the controller. Before you connect the inverter to the battery, you need to make sure, the inverter switch get off status. After we settle the battery bank, the controller and the solar panels, we need to connect the inverter to the battery bank. Here we introduce you one fuse holder in our package of inverter. You need to connect it to the inverter DC port first and the other side to the battery positive terminal. Connect the negative port from the inverter to the battery bank.
When we get the whole system settled, and we switch the power on, you will see the icons appears on the inverter. It means it works well. You can see the battery voltage, the battery volume, and the AC output status. And here is two AC outputs for use.